This article is to draw your attention to the vibrations of consciousness. As your thoughts change, so do the vibrations because these are responsible for the appearance of all things. When trees are newly felled, they are healthy and their vibrations are of a certain frequency. But when the wood has lain on the ground for many, many years, the vibrations gradually drop and the wood visibly rot. You should understand that the appearance of the wood is only changing because the vitality and vibrations are gradually fading away. Therefore, it should be easy to understand that the reality of everything under the sun is really within the underlying energy which supports it, not in the thing which can be touched, seen and heard. The same applies to your bodies. In the beginning, vibrations in a healthy body are normal. Later on, through wear and tear and negative thoughts, the vibrations begin to drop to such an extent that the tissue changes and sickness sets it. When you are tired, exhausted, your vibrations in your body drop somewhat and it is no longer so easy to move around. After rest and sleep, the vibrations are restored and you feel able to continue your daily activities again. Everything in existence is consciousness appearing as different materials in plants, animals, humans, and in inanimate things such as the elements and stones, earth, metals. Everything you encounter is really electrical particles vibrating at a certain rate, producing certain appearances. Change the vibrations of a thing radically and inject it with a new consciousness, and you have a different commodity. In this way could I, with the powerful use of my visual imagination and belief, draw together the electrical particles to create food. When you visualize what is needed, and believe with all your heart and mind that this electromagnetic blueprint will draw to itself the components to make it real in the world, eventually it will manifest itself. This revelation has been around for a long time, but the even greater revelation has been overlooked. Beware of what you may be creating for yourself when you have no idea you are doing it. Beware of those judgmental, critical thoughts which can harm another human being and can return to harm you also. Beware those unguarded emotional moments when you wish certain circumstances or events on another. Destructive thoughts bring about destructive consequences. Have you found that things continually go wrong for you? Examine your attitudes and your thoughts about other people. Remember that electricity sends out the message and magnetism brings it back, sometimes with interest. Remember that when you look upon things with grave disfavor or irritation, you are interfering with their natural vibrations which make them what they are. Beware, lest, unwittingly, you bring your own house down around your ears. Beware when you contemplate the weather. Don't complain about the rain and say you wish it would stop. It may stop longer than you want it to. Don't complain about the sun and wish it would rain. It may come in floods. When you walk Christ's way, my way, you will take everything in the world which is posing problems to divine consciousness, the Father, and ask for adjustments or needs which will be entirely suitable for you. In this way, the Father, which is intimately connected with you, within you and around you, will respond with the right input of consciousness to put all things right for you. Each level of consciousness frequencies creates and manifests as different conditions of existence. Since the highest and lowest vibrational frequencies of consciousness are produced by the highest or lowest spiritual, mental, emotional patterns or forms of consciousness. By high and low patterns, I mean those which are closest and furthest from divine consciousness intent. As you know, each frequency of vibration of sound waves produces its own unique and individual note and tone. Similarly, habitual mental emotional thought forms produce their own vibrational frequencies in consciousness and these in turn produce the outer conditions in which that consciousness resides. 
The higher the frequencies of vibration of consciousness, the more beautiful, harmonious, joyous, and fulfilled are the lives of those who reside within those frequencies. The lower the frequencies, the more harsh, bitter, acrid, and miserable are the lives of those who resonate to such frequencies. Their lives are punctuated with disasters, deprivation, and brutality. The higher the frequency of vibration of consciousness, the more spiritually loving and beautiful are the thoughts, the creative imagination, the ideals and beauty of color and life forms, for they are rising closer and closer to the dimension of universal consciousness, where the frequencies have become so heightened as to level out and enter into powerful equilibrium, the all power of universal consciousness, the source of all being, love. To you, the outer conditions may appear to be those in which the body resides, but the truth is, it is the consciousness which dwells within, experiences and responds to the outer conditions. The body is but a vehicle making the human consciousness visible to others, and the condition of the vehicle itself is a manifestation of the level of spiritual, mental, emotional consciousness which inhabits it.